Welcome back to Ming's Audio Quick Tips. In this episode, this is part two of a two-part series, I'm gonna show you how to do remote recording using Zoom's remote control function, and we're gonna be doing it in high fidelity audio in stereo, which is new for Zoom. So if you haven't seen part one of the series, make sure you go and check it out. I'm here with Greg Scar, amazing producer and vocalist, and we're working on some top lines together, and we've been doing this virtual recording session, so I wanna show you how we've been doing it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is, Greg, why don't you show them your, uh, share your screen and show them your DAW. Gotcha. And let's show them your settings because your settings are slightly different than my setting. All right, so he, he is using a Personas Fire Studio for his interface. So that is his output and input device in Logic. On my side, I'm using my UAD system. So by my output and input are the UAD on my side. One thing I wanted to mention just before we could get into the rest of the settings that this is completely latency free. As long as you have a solid internet connection, we're basically doing real-time recording over Zoom. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. So let's continue from there. So yeah. on my side, I'm using two virtual outputs from my UAD system because I'm using console to route my microphone and my logic within loopback audio. On Greg's side, he's using his Personas Fire Studio and his outputs are coming out of channels one and two. So if you hit configure speakers, his, in his stereo outputs, he's looking at channel one and channel two from his personas, and that is his speaker configuration. Another thing to note is in this setup, I have a microphone on, and when we play music, my, my speakers are not interfering with the way, what I hear. It's not channeling back into the microphone and causing um, feedback or anything like that. So it's a pretty impressive setup. Next thing we wanna show you is the loopback setup. Now, what loopback is allowing us to do is to route the output of logic into the input of Zoom. And in Greg's setup, he's using the output of Logic. On my setup, I'm using the output of my UAD interface. The reason he uses Logic is that he's got his microphone connected to the input of Logic and he's monitoring in real time through Logic. On my system, the UAD system, I'm monitoring through my UAD system and not through Logic. So that's why I have a different interface set up for the output of Loopback Audio. All right. If we go back to Zoom and we look at the preferences in Zoom, his speakers are the Personas Fire Studio, which is his interface, and his microphone input is the loopback, the Logic Loopback Audio, which we just showed you. Um, and that's allowing Logic to flow through his DAW directly into uh, Zoom, sorry. The other thing that you could do, and I didn't mention this before, if per se, per se you didn't want to hook up a microphone so that you were communicating with somebody through a microphone, in loopback audio, go to sources, Greg. You can go click on that. You could actually add the uh, Macintosh, I'm sorry, the MacBook Pro microphone could be added there. And that would enable your microphone on your MacBook. And so if you wanna keep your loopback set up like this, you can just turn the microphone off. You don't even have to de delete it. So what's important about loopback is that loopback runs in the background even if you, if you close it. So this is going to run, no interference with the DAW, no interference with the system settings. It just allows us to route the outputs of these devices directly into Zoom. All right, that's the setup. And why don't we go back to the DAW and why don't you give them a little play on like this beautiful music we've been recording. And check it out, it's in full stereo. Now let's, show, now let's show them the, the, the special magic. Um, I'm gonna have to show you my version of the Zoom controls. I'll put this up in the video because you will not be able to see his controls. Zoom doesn't allow you to see the other person's controls when you're doing this, but he's in share screen mode. When you're in share screen mode in Zoom, you're given another option once you're in share screen mode, and that is remote control. So Greg is gonna select the remote control option, and he's gonna give that remote control to me. If there's more than one user, you have a, you can select the different users there. But I'm the only other person in the ch in the in the video chat. So Greg will select me. Okay. It'll up. it'll say click to start the remote control of the shared screen. I'll click that. And now I am controlling. Put your hands up in the air, Greg. All right, watch this. Boom. Controlling Greg's mo his his session. I hit stop. If I wanted to zoom in, on, an, on a track, I wanted to make an edit, I wanted to do anything, 
um, here, boom, I've got this, you know, this right here, I could do anything. So this is, this is super powerful, real time, no latency control over another person's DAW while we record so that we can write and produce together. He can be recording in the booth. I can be giving him feedback. I can make edits. I can, you know, he could be doing a track stack. We could be doing multiple takes. It's very quick for us to, to go through this process and record and to be able to do it in real time is, is pretty much a game changer. So there you have it. It's Zoom remote control recording with no latency using loopback audio as our input for Zoom. And we are able to control each other's DAWs, do remote recording, and it's brilliant. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please post them down below. If you have any setup questions, we could possibly answer them. Greg, give me your social media. At Greg Scar, G-R-E-G-G. -G. I'm at Ming's Music. Make sure you give this video a follow. And until next week or next tip, peace. Ciao for now.